I'm feeling dizzy. I always feel dizzy when I'm waking up. My mouth's dry, too. It's pretty awful. So, we're basically seeing things from the perspective of different characters, which I think is actually quite a nice feature, but that, that thing girl, I want to see more of her. That little rant at the end there, that was fantastic. I smacked my lips and rubbed my eyes. I'm still kind of tired. Yeah, he's got Northern now. We'll, we'll just say they're all Northern. I'll give him, like, Ned, Ned Stark's voice. Why was I tired? No, no, it's too, that's too deep. That's great, oh, he's having it. Ma? Oh, yeah. Got lost along the way to the Dales. Told Ma I didn't need that horse. It's so dumb. It would have just been better to be walking alone. Spooked by a dang partridge, seriously. He must have bolted half a mile before bucking me off. I opened my eyes. It was like a fog. I rubbed them again and noticed that lady from before sitting in front of me. Is she asleep? Miss! You're asleep? No. Oh, I figure since her eyes were closed and all. I can't sleep. Now she... Now she's gone American. <laughs> I look at her weird and flinch. And something rolled out my ear. It drops to the ground. It looks like a shell. Oh, it's one of those chestnuts. Why are these in my ear? I ruffled up the top of my skull, finding two more knots on a burr. Did she throw these at me? I look at her, an arch and eyebrow. Her cheeks are wet, her nose is red and her eyes are low. She looks like one of my kid brothers after falling off a curb. I can't really think of what to tell her. Maybe I'll just tell her what I always say. The dude does something bad. Tell me the truth. Piss off. Yikes. She's in that mood again. Listen, if, if you got mad because I... What did I... What did I just say? She's like that. She's like a fact instead of a question. I freeze up. Piss. Off. What did I do? I was being nice. You want me out of here? She keeps staring at the floor. I'm a little scared now. What time is it? He doesn't like sunset. It's not sunset. It's not sundown yet. I, I, I don't think I... Leave. But the, the, the deals. Leave. If I mess up the leave. What am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't want to leave. I mess up the deal with a fiend. I'm going to hell. Is it worse? Oh man, if it's worse. I can't just walk out. Maybe if she... <clears throat> You're kidding. Whoops. Didn't want to say that. But it was quiet. See, my eyes are shaking. Looking at a leaf pile. Because there aren't any chestnuts in it. The deal was she had to toss chestnuts to me. And she did that. Sort of. My luck here. I can't leave, lady. It's lady now. Sorry, God. Leave. I want you to be leaving. Walking out of here. Go and be damned, villain. I just look at her. I'm biting my teeth together. My heart's going wild. Burning out, dog. It's where you belong. With all the blasted, foul creatures of your ilk. Calm the hell down. She picks up her head, her arms, and glares at me. Just, just calm down, alright? Calm down already. You're really an idiot. Well, well, you're crazy. Why are they you mad at me? Why'd you even talk to me, lady? What do you want? You're only right, that's it, right? She starts standing up. Well, I'm not gonna look... I'm not gonna let her look that far down on me. I'm standing up too. I'll even step up to her. I ain't letting her get the better of me. <laughs> I ain't got no problem scrapping with you, lady. I'll knock your block off. If you just swore it's my family, and I ain't gonna stand for that, alright? Of course, I'm quaking in my boots while I say this. No, I swore against your race. I gulp and frown. Your entire, miserable, sin-hearted race. <clears throat> know what I'd do if I got out of this circle? She steps forward, I step back. Yes, or no? No. 
She leans forward, just before what I guess is the barrier. I can feel her breathing on my face. It's cold and warm. Kill the whole lot of them. Kill the men, kill the women, kill the babies, lasses and lads like you. To lads like you, I'll dive my hands into their guts, wrench out their innards, string by string, set them on fire. Uh, uh, I'm crying a little. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what happened to you. I, I just want to be not. I just want to know and be nice. Uh, and and she leans back, standing up straight, breathes out. I swear I see flames coming out of her mouth. Are you scared? I nod fast. Why? I, I, I don't... I can't touch you, see? All of a sudden, she pushes her hand towards my face. That's such good eye. My god. My eyes widen. My whole body locks up. What am I seeing? I am trapped before here. Her skin's burning off in a bright yellow glow. I see her muscles, charred black, turning inside out, fires blazing all over her hand. There's white in her... her bones. I can't watch. Watch! I can't... I turn my... turn away from her. Your board's evaporating! She grimaces and tears fill the sides of her eyes. One drops rolling down her cheek. And her hand shoots back to her like it's spring loaded. I can't leave! Understand? Do you follow, sod for brains? She holds up the twisty she holds up the twisty stump sticking to her wrist. This right here This is what I've known Too long. Her hand starts coming back together. The melted part is spitting and the bones getting covered back up. There's this popping noise with everything. I got green in the face. I can't kill your people. I want to. I want to be able to leave here. For? Why are you trapped here? Would you believe me if I said it was punishment? If I said it was an accident? An unjust imprisonment? Whatever I say, whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. I was trapped here before the world had even a concept of your more. I was trapped here long, long, long ago, and so for reasons that no longer matter. I don't think you're speaking honest with me. How's that? I told you before, you need to calm the hell down. How? I saw. Hold my fists tight. How do I get you out of there? She can't believe what I'm saying. Me neither. But I'm still going to say it. She shakes her head. You've lost it. I shake my head. Nah, I still got it. I know what I just asked you. Tell me. How to get you out of there. If you haven't lost it, you've never had it in the first place. I suspected as much. You're touched, aren't you? Look, I got no idea what you're saying. But I'm still thinking straight. And you're dropping your G's. Shut your trap already. Hush and listen. You rude little pest. I shut my trap. You even know what you're saying? Remember what you're talking to? I j just think that... I didn't just mess them up. Huh? I did not just mess them up. The men who raped her. I bore my nails hot into their eyes. And tore off their faces. What? That's not all I did. When I first saw her, lying there, body warm, only from the bodies of others, and eyes with no spark in them, I set the den where she died to flame. I came upon all who lived in her town and murdered them. I torched their arms, their arms and pulled their ribs from their chest, crushed their heads, snapped their bones, stripped their flesh. If it could torment them, I did it. And in case you were wondering, you're all the same to me. I killed all kinds of you. One kind human 
sex age. I didn't pay attention. I didn't pay any mind when I slew them. Holy shit. Soon, they gathered at the centre of town, where I'd first caught sight of her, as if to mock me. So I melted them all to the earth, slowly. On the night that she died, I erased that town from the records. All my fighting spirit's gone. Why do you tell me that? You asked. I didn't want enough to tell me all the story. You're right, I didn't. But didn't you want to know? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a fiend. Ugh, that's bull. Is that why you got put here? No. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. I've done many things in my life. Things some find admirable. And others, some find despicable. I put a curse on a family for all their generations. Saved a gaggle of slaves from the tyranny of their fellow man. I've ruined a marriage and I've restored another. Slaughtered a town and rescued a child. I've done so many things. And all those I've mentioned, not one of them, is the reason I'm here. You forgot. Oh no. I remember it quite clearly. But as I said, the reason no longer matters. I just don't get it. You wanted me to save you, right? I swore that's what you wanted. But now you're telling me all these mixed up things. What the heck am I supposed to think? What the heck do you want? You gone. I breathe out through my nose and close my eyes. Nah, it's not way. Shit my head again. You gotta be lying to me. I don't think, I don't think all complicated, sure, but I know when someone's lying to me. Why the heck are you lying to me? I know you don't want me to leave. What happened to you? How could her eyes? How long have you been in there? I don't know. I don't know anymore. You don't know? That's what I said. I. What the hell's up with that? I can't be right. All has got an act for knowing. Sick. Knowing the hour exactly. The second. It's famous. That's what the hell does it mean if they lose it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey! How much did you love that girl? I... I hear something click in her throat. <laughs> she doesn't look like she wants to say. Shut up! I... I feel bad for her. It's goddamn weird, but it's like... She's so sad. Everything about this lady's sad. I mean it. She's just damn miserable. And pathetic. She's so... You really don't know how long you've been in here. Yes. I think you've been in here, been in there for long enough. I don't think you really want to kill anyone. Then you're a fool. Quiet. I'd have an, I've had enough of that joke. Tell me how to save you. I reach out her hand. I reach out to her, grab her hand. That hand that's got screwed up and healed. I hold on to it. Come on. She stares at me. She looks at my hand, holds it with both of hers, and squeezes. She locks her eyes with me. I need to be switched with another life. That's the only way for me to leave. I put on the manliest face. I'm not going to switch with you, listen. I keep her from saying anything else. I'm going to find another way, alright? What the hell could you do? I'll plant something in your place. Nothing can grow here. I'm a fiend, eh? That's damn right. How am I gonna... I shake my head. Doesn't matter that. Well, Anne's gonna be fine once you're out, right? At least that's what I think. That's what I've read. Look, you just gotta believe in me. I look up and finally notice that the sun's gone. If you don't want me to leave anymore, I can feel that. She's holding on tight. But believe in me. Let me go and I'll save you. She looks at our hands again. She cuts into mine with her nail. 
Ow! Wince. Dang. Oh, come on, don't do this. I glance at her face. She's still staring at my hand. Let me go! Come on. She wouldn't, right? Don't. Don't pull me. Stop pulling me! I'm trying to calm down my arm. Trying not to lose it. But it's alright when she's bringing my arm a bit closer. And a little bit more. Come on, come on, please. Trust me! She digs her nails into me again. Damn! Ugh. Ugh. Please. Please let me go, please. Come on, let me go. Let me go! I whisper that. Not thinking about it. My eyes are shut. I'm piss scared. I don't want to get stuck in there. I can feel her looking at me. And I breathe faster. I'm trying to be calm. I can feel my lips moving, pleading. After a while, real slow, she does it. I open my eyes, shocked. She's let go of my hand. And she's holding hers up, now, where mine was. She's about to drop it. Toughen up, and grab it up again. We make eye contact. Believe in me. Got it? She doesn't say anything. I let go of her hand and pick up my satchel from inside her space. We hold a look. I beg you, don't betray me. Please. I won't betray you. I promise. The walls don't shake. My voice don't boom. I take a step back and another one. And I run out of there. I guess I'm still the, the boy. It's cold now. I'm actually shivering. Moon's high, the grass is glowing. It's dark, but beautiful. It's quiet, like before. Like always, right? It's just wind and dead leaves. Even animals don't walk through this place. I wonder how long it's been since people did. At least this is probably the first time someone's walked through here with a sapling in their hand. I step into the big room and look out ahead. Rub my thumb over a branch of a tree I'm carrying. I can see her on the floor. Her hands over her face. I know she can hear me. Since whenever I move a little bit, her ears flick. I walk forward. Wiping her nose with the back of her... Wiping her nose with the back of her hand. She stands up and breathes out loudly. She opens her eyes and I'm kind of surprised when I see them going. I stop at the edge of the barrier. She looks at me. You look a mess. Yeah, well, my belly growls and I sniff. It's pretty hard to dig out a tree properly with no real roots. Especially one like this. We both check the sapling. Isn't that... Oh yeah. It's an olive sapling. I didn't pick it since I wanted to make fun of you. Olive trees are strong. If there's anything that's going to take the root in the dirt like this, it's an olive. Right. Step back, I'm coming in. She does. She does that after a second or two and I walk into her place. Bending down, I hold the oil up to her. Take it. She does that too, after thinking about it. I take a sharp rock out of, her, out of my pocket and that picked up outside and I stab it into the ground, crackling the floor. Sticks pretty bad in there, but I can still wank it out. Wank it out. Good job, brain. Yank it out. <laughs> Still yank it out. I do that, and I keep breathing up on the earth. I can feel the lady stirring, and I know what she's thinking. Even if I'm a kid, I can still see the soul's pretty bad. My eyes as good as my ma's, at least. And this lady definitely knows as good as me. How, it's gro how it is for growing. If anything, if anything grows, it'll be with awful chances. Seriously. I know it's about the only thing around that might. Making matters worse, I ain't got very long before the sapling. <sighs> God. What's the world yawning? Boy, that sapling's as good as dead. The roots are good and all, but it's not. And honestly, I don't know the difference between a good sapling and a bad one. I sort of just went with my gut. So knowing most of that, she's probably thinking of just walking out. That's what happened, right? 
two of them and things get in. Only one gets out. But I'm not going to check on her and see if she leaves. I'm not that trusting on her. I can't trust her, but this is all I can think of getting out without leaving me in, I mean. If I look at her, if I show that I'm worried, I'm going to mess everything up. So I've got to keep at it. I've got to break this spot. I stab, I pull, and I dig, clearing out the stones and dirt. I pile all the dirt next to me. going to need it later, bad as it is. After a lot of effort, I lean back and look at the hole I made. Then slow, I turn to see if she's still there. She is. I hold up my hand. She gives me the olive. I take it and open up my satchel, filled with wet, healthy soil. I gathered what, what, eh, wet, healthy soil I gathered while I was gone. I carefully transport the sapling, putting some good soil over its root, and filling the ore back up with a proper mix of my collected stuff and the dirt from the foundation. Careful now, careful with the roots. Okay, this should be good. I take my canteen from the clip at my waist and open it up. This is filled with spring water. Took me a while to find that. Honestly, took me a while to do anything. Can't feel bad about it. But I moved as fast as I could. Anyway, should be enough here for a healthy first watering. Won't drown it. I pour the insides of the bottle over. The leaves, are, the leaves and plot. Screwing it closed when I'm done. And putting it back on my waist. That's it. That's it. That's all. I stand up. Wiping sweat away from my brow. Yeah. We both look outside the circle for a while. I give her a look from my side. She's still looking out. Breathe. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Step forward. She doesn't move. I leave her side and turn around. We both stir at the olive tree. Did it work? Open my mouth to ask, but close again when I see her. She's scared. She's at the edge of the barrier, unscared. Oh man, I just realised it. You were touching it before, it hurt so much. How did it feel when she pushed her whole hand through? She had a stone face when she did it, but God. I can't say anything to that. I don't know what it feels like. Man. Seeing her like that, shaking with fear and panicking, just thinking about moving ahead. I can feel my eyes welling up. I just try not to cry for her. She screws up her shoulders and puts her hand over her chest. With her eyes closed, she jerks forward. Wait! Her foot passes over the line. My hand is up in the air. I wanted to stop her. I didn't want to see that pain anymore. She jerks her other foot forward, completely leaving the spot. If she's on fire, If she's on fire, whoever wrote this is evil. And I applaud that for, for them for that. Because cause, cause I want her to get out. Okay. It. She steps again, faltering. Again and again, she walks to me. She always is health and just embraces me. It worked! Yay! I wrap my arms around her. Her skin warms up all over as she nuzzles her face affectionately into my neck. Rubs her nose over my cheek. She just eases into me, weak. I bring up one of my hands and pet her head. I'm crying. It's okay now. A joke. It's okay, right? She just rests on me, taking away any of the nipping cold in my body. She breathes out past my ear. Thank you. I look her a little closer. I'm sorry. I shake my head, try not to break down. Can I just stay like this? For a little bit, you're, you're familiar, you're strong. Yeah. Yeah, you can. She pushes her nose on me again, whispering something. Can't hear what it is. She holds me tightly and we don't say anything else. You're surprisingly emotional, lad. We're all lads like that now. It, it just really hurt looking at you, that's all. 
Right, right. I'm sure that it I'm sure that it did really. I was quite emotional myself. If mother saw me like that. I wonder if mother's still alive. When I did at last see this place from here. Has it really all been forgotten? Yeah. I've never heard of it. That's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. What what was it like here? Did you like it? It was normal. Extraordinarily normal. So normal in fact that I had to file down my own just to get around. What about your ears? My ears? What about them? You didn't have to hide them? No, I didn't have to. I only looked fiendish with just my ears. Like an, like an unfortunate halfling. It little bothered any anyone before if it did. I'd grow my hair long. Huh? As I was saying, this town, this town, I might have liked it once. But when I first came here, I never would have expected to stay. Ah, yes. And the boy was lost, wasn't he? You've any idea how to get back to your home? Ugh, obviously not. Don't get smart. I'll help you there. Really? I can't assure you when we'll find it. But I'll assure you that we will, for certes. I'll take you there. I may as well. You're not going to have to travel. What? You're not going to go tra- alright. I chuckle. This should be enough of a journey after standing so long. Mm. We'll camp by the Eastwood Spring for the night. You know of the one to the east? It's still there. Oh my god, what is it with me and yawning? I've been awake for ages. It's not even that late. Yup, at least it's probably the same one I'm thinking of. Can you fish at all? Not without a rod, no. Then I'll fish for you. But you'll have to prepare it. Can't do everything for you. Hmm. What time is it? You asked me the time? Sorry. Just saw out of it. Hmm. Since I leaned on you earlier, you can lie on me while you sleep. I'll keep you warm. He glances at me briefly. He looks pensive. He shuts his eyes. I'll do that. He opens them again, keeping their stir from me. Thank you. I smirk at him. Hmm. What should I even think? I thought this wouldn't happen. Huh? Am I actually asleep? Dreaming? If you are, that'd be weird for me. I'm glad you stayed. I laugh. I'm glad you're a fool. <laughs> really, I am. I can't say it enough. It's all right. Don't consult with any other fi with any fiends other than me. Got it. I honestly feel like this isn't real, but I know that it is. Let's go then. Mine has become so lucid since I've been freed. Bright, so bright that it nearly blinds me. Blinds me, but I can tell. I, I'm happy. Is that it? Is that the end of the game? No? Oh cool. I thought that would have been the ending. I'm more than happy with there being more. Also I'm just gonna double check the music for one second because I'm I, I feel the need to try and shout over it slightly. Um Um Alright. It's just a bit slow as all. Um that should be about right-ish. Music is quite loud. Um, okay. Sun shines in a different way now. Different from all the ways I've seen it before. I thought I'd seen them all, but there's one different. Much more different. Pleasant. Watching it come up this morning with him, resting at my chest, so profoundly serene. Having him calmly there through the moonlight made it better than any other time. And now I'm more brimming with life. That's where I'm going, to guide him, free of charge. After that, who can say? The world has changed, I greatly changed. 
doesn't feel all the same. My friends have died, I can tell that from the uh, dead, and I cannot wish them farewell. My kin too are dead. On this path, breathing fresh from the winds, I can feel these things, and new things. Though things still wrong, I know no one alive. No one. But this boy here, I think that by him being here, there is company. I want to keep with him, if only ever from afar. I want for his life to go well. And as for mine, when he's gone, I think I'll go too. Perhaps it's not the best use of the time he returned to me. But I'm tired. Tired. But I can stay awake for a little longer. So wait, if she falls asleep, is she going to die? And that was the end of the game. There was just uh, one little extra. As you've seen, that was really good. Wow. Short. Short, definitely. Uh, this is the first game I've finished in, well, probably not the first game ever, but the first game on the channel that I've finished in one sitting. <laughs> um, yeah. Jeez. That was great. I've got nothing else to say about that. Um, at all. That was too good. That was fine too good. Uh, the art was brilliant. The writing was fantastic. Uh, the fact that it was two, only two characters, uh, essentially in one place, and then the story was so... It was just so entertaining, so well thought out, and, 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 and the writing was fantastic. Um, and you never really... I, I grant them, you never really knew what was going to happen next. And I like the fact that there was two characters as well. Like, not just... You know, two characters existing, I mean... I mean... Switching between the two. That was brilliant. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, that's that's yeah. Thank you, friend, that advised me to play that because that was that was amazing. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.